Hi, just a quick one. Uh, you've no doubt seen this before. This is my Pace uh, fume extractor for uh, soldering, of course. Very important to have a fume extractor so that you get all the uh, rosin smoke. No, it's not lead smoke. Um, so lead-free solder is not <laughs> magically safe, but the rosin flux inside there, uh, when you solder it all goes up in smoke, and it's very important. Um, you know, that can be dangerous uh, stuff if you uh, inhale it. So you really need a uh, good filter, and this is like a really expensive uh, one. I don't know how much they cost. I've had it for decades, I think, now. And anyway, um, it's very powerful and quite good. But it has one problem, which you've no doubt heard in my videos, and I complain often about it. Switch it on. Yeah, it's uh, really quite loud. Not great for when you're <laughs> um, doing any sort of video work like I do, even if you're just soldering. Like, it's really loud. I mean, the microphone at the moment's pointed away from that, pointed towards it. That is loud. That's really freaking annoying. So anyway, I want to fix that. I want to fix it now. All right, so let's take this sucker apart. There's just a couple of screws on there like that. And we are in like Flynn, and that's all there is uh, to it, of course. It's just a uh, 240 volt fan. Nothing is still spinning. Nothing fancy at all. Taylor fans. Um, I don't, I never heard of Taylor fans. I got no idea. Looks like a pommy uh, thing. You search that part number, you get uh, Sunon fans. So I don't know what the deal is there. Did Sunon buy uh, Taylor or did Taylor make a, a like a rip off of the uh, Sunon fans? I don't know. Anyway, um, it is an awfully loud fan. Uh, standard 120 millimeter diameter um, die cast alloy uh, case. It's one of the deep ones. So I don't know what the uh, noise specs on this thing is. If I can find a data sheet, I'll include it. But uh, yeah, all I know is that it's loud. So it's like, I'm not going to get my sound level meter out and all that sort of rubbish. But yeah, it's like, anyway, standard 120 millimeters. So I'm going to whip that out and uh, see what else we can put in there. I could try and source a like a, you know, a more silent uh, 240 volt fan to put in there. I looked at uh, local JCAR store, which I can just go to and, you know, they're just down the road. I can uh, uh, pick one up. But the best one they have is a thin one that's uh, 44 dB. Sounds okay, but <laughs> pun intended. But yeah, I don't know. I've got something better. And in here is just a uh, standard uh, carbon impregnated uh, filter. And you can get there really quite horrid stuff. You sort of touch them and they just, blah, they just disintegrate. Maybe this one's too old. Hmm. There you go. It's got a date code, 95. <laughs> you can see this one's actually wired uh, directly in. So there's soldered right, like mains core directly comes over to here via a fuse, of course. Um, so they've done it right. It's decent, and of course it's a uh, mains dearth, the case is mains dearth as well. So I'm going to rip all that out of there because I've got an alternative. I've got a few of these uh, Noctua, uh, like, you know, very silent uh, PC fans. These are really top quality ones. This is the NFP12 uh, one. This is not the uh, PWM one. It's just the regular one with uh, three pins. And if I switch that on, uh, driving it at, uh, whoa, <laughs> it's blowing all the stuff away. Um, if I drive that at 12 volts, you can't hear it. Oh, well, you can, but it's like, it's practically silent. Sure, it's not going to have the same uh, CFM, the cubic uh, feet per minute airflow rate that one of these big, uh, you know, this is like a 15 watt job or something like that. It's not going to be the same. This is only a one watt uh, fan, but it's good enough. I've actually, um, just during my live stream today, I uh, uh, used a uh, fan on there only at uh, 5 volts, and it wouldn't have had the airflow of this one, and it uh, was doing a commendable job. So I'm just going to whack this one in here. I know it's a bit overkill, but I just want to uh, put one inside this case. I do have a project planned for this, so stick around, but I need to... Uh, get stuff made for it. Um, but uh, for the time being, I'm just going to whack one of these uh, Noctua fans in there and just drive it from 12 volts. But this case is obviously big enough. Like I could put a like a 12 volt rechargeable, like a large 12 volt rechargeable battery in there. And I can, you know, I could really go to town like that. But uh, at the moment, I just want to just get it up and running.
All right, so that'll fit nicely in there. You've got to get it the right way around. Of course, the uh, air blows out this way, so sucks it in from this side. Trap for young players. Um, so we can just whack the filter back on that. And uh, like, like tons of room in there uh, to add some sort of uh, battery solution. I could even add some sort of board that added, like uh, did voltage control. Because as I said, this is only the three pin one. So this doesn't have PWM control. It's got PWM output, which, uh, well, uh, sorry, a, um, a taco output, which uh, tells you the speed, but it's not a control at all. So if you want to control the uh, this three pin uh, job, then you have to basically uh, just change the voltage. So anyway, that fits a treat. And yes, I could add some uh, rubber baby buggy bumpers uh, down in there just to vibration uh, isolate that from the metal chassis. And I should uh, do that, but it's already quiet enough. It, it's going to do the business. So I'm, I'm not fast. Now, one of the interesting things about this enclosure, here's the holes that hold it on the bottom. And it's designed just to have a little lip like this. But there's actually nothing to stop pushing it all the way back like that and having a huge hood on that if you really wanted to because uh, a, a, a bigger hood can potentially be better because it like the smoke can like get up there and get trapped under the hood but then you got to get it closer yeah it's a trade-off um i think i'll just <laughs> looks a bit silly too anyway in some circumstances it might be better i'll just uh leave it uh, for where it originally was and a little pin interface don't want to chop the cable and we're good. Yeah, I'll put, I should have put some heat shrink on the individual ones. I'll put it all the way over and she'll be right. All right, that's much quieter than the other one. Still, I can hear it. It's not the best thing ever. Um, probably because like it's resonating in the case and I've got no rubber uh, compliance mounts in there and things like that. Anyway, I plan on doing another uh, quick little project um, soon that will... Uh, hopefully uh, improve situation here. But anyway, let's give it a go. I'm not gonna actually solder anything. I'm just gonna, <laughs> okay, middle of the board here. So what am I? I don't know, 15 centimeters away, something like that. Will it do the business? Ah, uh, it's okay. It's gotta, not, not really, no, it's gotta be within 10 centimeters, something like that. And then it gets most of it. It's gotta be reasonably close. So not as good as the old one but didn't expect it, but yeah, that's all right. As long as you get reasonably close to your work. And what you can do, of course, is have a, uh, like a second little uh, blower fan here that just blows across and then this one sucks it up. That's a uh, solution, which uh, hopefully a little follow-up uh, project will uh, see something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, the other one was just unbearable. It made this thing unusable. I don't know if the bearings win it or, or whatever, but Anyway, this one's pretty good. Shouldn't really be a problem if I'm uh, shooting a video or uh, something like that. Anyway, not sure of the uh, specs of that uh, Noctura fan. If you saw a uh, my live uh, stream video, which I can uh, link in, I actually uh, just jury rigged this one here for my uh, live stream. And oops, um, yeah, don't put your PCB in the fan because it broke off. Um, now it's not that great. This one had greater airflow than this uh, Noc 2 one. So I, I don't think this is designed for like really high airflow. It's designed for like lower noise. So, and it is certainly no lower noise, even if with, even with the uh, cabinet on here. So that's, it's, it's a really nice low level sort of drone. I really like it. So yeah, maybe I can upgrade the uh, fan or something like that. But I just had those uh, Noctua fans lying around and it does a reasonable job, but yeah, like 10 centimeters away, something like that. That's where you have to be to sort of do the business. Well, if it's down here like this, yeah. Yeah, you gotta be, there we go. Yep, 15 cent, oh, no, that's more than 10. Should get a ruler out, shouldn't I? That's, you know, it's, yeah. Anyway, within 10 centimeters, it's gonna suck it all up.